Okay, good evening, everybody. It's me again, Faye, for another live session tonight. And uh, yesterday, if you weren't able to watch the video, I was with I was with Jingle, and we talk about um, creating uh, creating creative business opportunities amidst the COVID nineteen pandemic. If you weren't able to watch that, you could still watch that here in the Facebook page. Just scroll down. And then tonight, we will have another interesting topic. Actually, we'll be talking about two interesting topics, and that would be quitting a day job and then social media. These are two things that our guest for tonight can share to us, and I believe she really is the best person that would share about this, as you will know of her story in a few Tonight, you'll learn on how you can juggle a day job with a side hustle and how to eventually strategize and turn your side hustle into a full-time job also or a full-time business. Also, you'll learn about some social media strategies for your current or future business. With that, I'll be introducing her formally. So she is a former EHS manager of a multinational company. She started her side hustle as a social media manager that made her earn six digits per month. And she eventually quit her nine to five job. And now she has her own digital marketing agency and also a social media coach. Everybody help me welcome Miss Hara Amago. Hey there, Hara. Uh, hi. hi. <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening. Kumusta? <laughs> Okay naman. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Ara, where are you located nga ba? Uh, nasa Luzon ka, ano? Yes, yeah, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. So, so far naman, hindi kayo na na, na affect nung, nung bagyo? Hindi naman. Hindi naman affect. Hindi naman pero may bumaha sa other areas here in Santa Rosa, pero not that much affected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's good to hear. Anyways, how's quarantine aside from keeping busy on your new uh, being her own boss and her new agency? Anong 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 pinagkakabalahan mo sa quarantine? What's keeping you busy aside from that? Uh, I I currently have an 8-year-old kid uh, mm -hmm. with having his online class and I'm uh, I'm guiding him and also I have a 1-year-old. <laughs> So mostly my time is between my digital marketing services distance mm -hmm. and also to my kids. <laughs> yeah, but at least now you're already at home, right? Yeah. With your kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so recently I have heard <laughs> that you have um um quit you have you have quitted your nine to five job. How does it feel to quit a nine to five job and pursue something that you love? Uh, I really have a lot of mixed emotions when I um, when I decided to quit my nine to five job. So at the very beginning, I was really uh, I really want to pursue this freelancing. I really want to have a full time and have to uh, have to have a freedom in my time and also in my income to focus more and to grow more my business. Mm -hmm. And at first, I was very uh, confused and I'm not really sure if this is the right decision that I would be taking. And uh, and then I was feel so I feel so stressed because I was juggling between my nine to five and I really want to grow this business. Mm -hmm. And once I have decided um, and then I, I told my bosses that uh, I'm quitting. It was really sad because I also have a big team, and it was just really very sad for me. And then uh, I w after um, after a few weeks, I was very excited. I was able to uh, I was able to um, I was able to uh, uh, to uh, register my business, and then I was. I was able to start to grow my clients to be so I'm very excited with my business. Yeah, and then right now you are already hiring your own people, right? Yes, I'm starting so, to my team. As so, well. yeah, at first it felt sad, no, because of course anything that is uh, related to change, no, and a new environment or uh, a change in your routine would really make you feel sad. However, 
in the long run or currently now you're excited about what's what's going to happen with your digital agency now um how did you handle the situation na uh, um uh, you have a 9 to 5 job and then you also have a side hustle ng pagiging social media manager mo paano mo hinanda yung self mo para mag mag-quit sa 9 to 5 job meron ka bang mga iniisip na parang checklist dapat ganito dapat ganito before ka mag mag-quit Mm-hmm. Bali, uh, to to have a briefly story. So I started my side hustle last year, just mm-hmm. last year, May 2019. I was pregnant, and uh, I was able to start be- uh, because I'm I have the the three three and a half months of maternity leave, so I have a lot of time to uh, to discover freelancing. And when I started my, when I go back to my uh, nine to five job, I set like a time management frame for me, just to um to cater both of my nine to five job and also my side hustle. And while doing that, I was it was really tiring at the very beginning because I was discovering a lot of things, and uh I started to first list down my goals. That's the first one that I did, and I check how will I manage to to uh, to be able to achieve this goal. So at first, I I list down my income goal and uh, how many clients I needed, um, my my all my process. I I stabilize all my process. I um I manage to uh to create a uh, fixed um pricing so that i would be able to achieve my income goal and then after after that i i i i list down what 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 amount of savings i need to have before i quit my 9 to 5 and then i really need make i really need to make sure that i have this stable amount starting this stable amount that i will be receiving because i have I have my family and uh, I really need to have uh, an income and a an, uh, consistent income for my family. So that's what I did before I quit my nine to five job. Mm-hmm. And then after after knowing all my, after achieving all my, um, my income goal, my savings goal, I was able, I was also try to, um, to, uh, to prepare my my corporate job, just mm-hmm. to be able for them to be ready when I do. Wow, that's so nice of you, no? Still thinking about uh, the company that you would that you would live, because I I with with all the things that you've been posting in our group, I think you 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 love your your company that your your job, right? But I think uh, what's more important to you is the time and financial freedom, especially that you have kids right now, deba. Right? So um. Looking back at your answers, no, so it wasn't hindi siya parang at an instant na dinisad mo ay ayoko na kasi may ganitong ano na ako for this month. So it was a long process, long process pero ginawa mo siya into um into uh para siyang big step pero broken down mo into smaller steps yeah. para yeah. ba para ma 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 think mo talaga na achievable siya. So mm-hmm. meron kang naging income goals. Meron kang tapos break down mo siya kung ilang client yung kailangan mo, de ba? Mm-hmm. Para ma-achieve mo yung income goal na yon and then after that, nag-create ka ng system and then your own process para um, everything would automate and then hindi ka na masyadong ma-stress once you already quit your job. And then you mentioned also na um, you you made sure that you would have that specific um, savings ng ilang months. Mm-hmm. If, is it okay to share that ano yung number of months na ginawa mong benchmark? Uh, usually, I, uh, my really goal is 12, like 12, 12 months. But uh, I currently have like, I think around 7, seven mm-hmm. months of my mm-hmm. monthly income. Mm-hmm. So that's what I, I currently saved and was able to quit. I was already ready to quit. <laughs> Ready to quit. So, parang yun yung yun yung safety net mo, no? Say seven to eight months. I think that's also uh, advisable. Kasi before, um, even uh, before the pandemic happened, no? Sabi nila, 
emergency build your emergency emergency fund or safety net for three to six months. Now that we have the pandemic, hello, it's almost nine months, de ba? Yeah. That the pandemic happened, so parang dapat din yun ma change na more than six months talaga. Mm-hmm. So in your case, you had it at seven to eight months na safety mm-hmm. net. At least may may gauge lang yung mga nanonood and and are planning to also do that kind of strategy. So speaking of your business, could you share on what you what your business is all about, what you currently do, and what are your services? So currently, I have a digital marketing services. So I'm serving usually clients from US and Europe. Mm-hmm. So I manage their social wow. social media. I market all their products and their services. I'm mm-hmm. the one who handle their like Instagram and Facebook. So I'm the one who create their content. Mm-hmm. I could also do like a paid advertising for them, and I could grow their audience. So that's my main, uh, my main and top seller among my services mm-hmm. so to grow their Instagram account. And uh, I also, I can also, uh, besides creating content and grow their um, business, I ha- also have a services of cap- copywriting. And oh. um, I have some basics in branding, <laughs> but only basic. <laughs> but okay. I'm, I'm now focusing on, uh, on social media. And yeah. hopefully soon, it would be like a digital marketing Full service wherein I could also cater SEO, Google, and others. <laughs> wow, so exciting! Oh, nga, no, kasi uh, pwede din naman na if when you mention na i, you would you would try to develop the branding thing, kasi pwede din mo siyang ipackage, di ba? Like mm-hmm. for example, yung mga new businesses na wala pa talaga silang branding online, then nag-avail sila ng package mo into marketing, so pwede mm-hmm. mo siyang i ano. And actually, yeah, you the one you mentioned na pwede mo talaga siyang gawin na ang tawag dito, one-stop shop, <laughs> di ba? Yeah, Lahat yeah. ng kailangan nila for their online business is mm-hmm. is would, would be there already with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, um, how about sa Philippine Philippine market? Do you have clients on the Philippine market or what 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 can you what what do you plan to offer to the Philippine market? I'm I I'm not yet having any uh Philippine market in within terms of uh, in digital marketing services, but I'm planning to do it maybe mm-hmm. next year <laughs> once I mm-hmm. I already stabilize all my process and because mm-hmm. I also have a coaching yeah. course program. So I'm gonna focus currently. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm I'm I will focus on that uh on my course up until December, but. In January, I have some future big plans for my digital marketing services. <laughs> so exciting! Oh nga, because uh, we 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 seldom see no um current companies uh, or even small and medium companies here in the Philippines that are really focusing on social media. Uh, what could you say is re- is social media really important in growing and scaling a business? Yeah, especially currently now na pandemic situation we're in. I think almost all of the people are in their mobile phones and they are already using social media platforms like Facebook and mm-hmm. Instagram, which mm-hmm. is which are the top uh top um top platforms, social media platforms. And it's very important because uh you can reach a lot of people uh in using social media. And there are a lot of um, a lot of fe- features that you can use to reach your specifically your target audience. Like for example, you want you want to reach this kind of range, or you want to uh, reach this kind of people. It's very easy in social media, and it's completely almost free. You can do mm-hmm, it on correct. your own as a correct. business owner, right? So you can do it on your own, and you can create your own content. You can uh, strategize your own content or your um, your marketing. So mm-hmm. that social media is very, really very easy. And a lot of already big companies is already using social media. Yeah. So a lot have already invested in really uh, making their brands no, stand out yeah. in social media. 
And I think what's also advantageous sa uh, social media is um, it's very easy to do ads, yeah. diba? Kasi yung, yung compared sa, the, the way lang I understand it, no? And na-observe ko lang. In the old kasi na advertising is what you could post are, what you could have would be posters, mga billboards, yeah. ganon, mm-hmm. um, sales, sa store mo. Kaso kapag, yes, uh, maraming makakita ng poster mo, ng billboard mo, Kaso, um, hindi mo alam kung sino yung nakakakita, hindi mo alam kung sino talaga yung interested. Compared sa, i- i-post mo yung ad mo sa Facebook, di ba? Kasi meron namang yung sa Facebook ads. Analytics. Diba? Mm-hmm. Analytics. Like, for example, if that person was interested with that ad, mm, tapos na-click niya, so parang na-record yun sa, sa, basta sa algorithm ng Facebook. And then there would be a way na you could, you could come back to that person and remind them na, hey, Ay, you 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 checked on this product baka ngayon interested ka na blah 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 mm-hmm. and you can't do that in an ordinary store diba so yeah. for example natitinda ka ng um, damit tapos may pumasok na customer titingnan yung damit sinukat niya tapos hindi niya binili you cannot go after naman that person uy bili mo tong dam- damit oh. again, diba you can't do that <laughs> but in social media there are many ways to do that especially with ads and also putting in mga 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 different ang tawag dito. Uh, yung pixels, Facebook uh-huh. pixels and all. So para ma-monitor. Yeah. Para ma-monitor, di ba? Mm-hmm. So I think you could also uh, if anybody who are watching right now and would want to do that to their business, Hara could help you <laughs> with that one. So you could really capture, di ba, yung audience. And what's mm-hmm. also nice with social media is that you would you wouldn't be wasting your time talking to the uh, wrong. wrong people, no? Kasi mawaste lang yung time mo if you sell to people who don't actually need your product. And that's the and that's the good thing with social media compared to the old mm-hmm. advertising. Aside from it's free. Diba? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Now, uh, Hara, as a social media manager, ano yung mga um, tips and strategies, mga kahit konting tips and strategies that you could uh, tell to our small and medium entrepreneurs or perhaps mm-hmm. sa mga solopreneurs who are now into selling, di ba? Meron tayong mga nakita nagsisell ng mga food items, nagsisell ng mga damit, ganon. What could you advise to them to uh, make it, parang make it big or somewhat um, do something with their social media strategy? Mm-hmm. So first, yun, uh, kailangan muna nila, they need to create a social media strategy at um, the very beginning. They need to first identify their uh, who will be their audience or their client? So all the personalities they need to uh, they need to identify that just to know that uh, what content they are doing they will it will address to their uh, ideal audience or ideal client, and then they should create like a process like they should be consistent like how many posts are they going to have, and they also need to uh, optimize their pages like mm-hmm. uh, they have a, def- a clear branding as you mentioned be, uh, earlier they need to have like a consistent branding like colors the logo just to identify their business branding and they need to after creating the the social media strategy so they need to to uh, implement the, the plan consistently and what I could advise is to learn all the skills. They could start in watching. There are a lot of tutorials in YouTube. They could also do it. They yeah. could also hire some coach if they want, or they could avail some courses that teach on how to do social media management. And um, she will share later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At okay. the very beginning, it would be hard. So they mm-hmm. need to like have a trial and error so Correct. that's the reason also that they need to like look out how many views do they have mm-hmm. or which ones are working which ones are not mm-hmm. and um which um what could they be improved and they could mm-hmm. also check their competitors what they're doing Uh-oh. but not totally grab what they're posting what oh. <laughs> i could advise is they could grab some ideas, but they could uh, improve that just to uh, to make it more trending. Mm-hmm. It, yes. it will be like their original post. 
<laughs> Oo, kung ano, parang make it, make it their own. Parang lagyan lang ng special flavor na touch of their company. So, as you mentioned, kasi most ng mga nagbibenta online, uh, what they do is create a FB page, mm-hmm. tapos uh, logo ganito ganyan, tapos post lang ng post, and then usually yung mga post nila is more of ano lang, more of uh, sell, 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 yung mm-hmm. magkano yung price ng product and all, ba? Diba? So, uh, you mentioned na kailangan din, they should know their target market, know the profile of their, of their, of their target market. Then, dapat din consistent. So, how consistent is consistent? Would that be one one post per day? I suggest a uh, minimum would be three posts per week. Three posts per week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Di siya and, mm-hmm. and yun, um, as you mentioned, yung pagpo-post, um, not necessarily lang for promotions. Totoo. Mas maganda they, they post some valuable content and more yes. on personal like um uh, like their uh, target audience would like be connected to their post and be like uh wow it's like they're feeling your post and they will be availing your your services you need to give a lot of values yeah for- yung parang nakaka-relate sila sa yo no mm-hmm. parang for- you, mga you, tips, ganyan. Yeah, you put a you put a story. So aside from posting lang, because this is also what I see. Uh, what what some small entrepreneurs are doing wrong. Puro na lang um uh, post ng magkano yung product. No, no mm-hmm. other value posts. No like tips or mm-hmm. somewhat um uh, mga stories or what else. Because yun yung because we buy based on ano, ano nga ba yung mga natutunan natin. <laughs> we buy based on feelings, no, and yeah. not really on not really on the the, the on the on other things. So mostly more of feelings tayo kapag tayo mm-hmm. ay bumili. So once we mm-hmm. touch that sa mga customers natin, then eventually we could turn them into customers mm-hmm. or once na touch natin yan sa mga audience. So you also mentioned na dapat din clear branding, so you optimize siya. And then ito yung mga nami-miss usually ng mga people, no, as in when they do the um analytics they also need to do the test run and the analytics so hara if 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 they want to know more about social media and willing sila maglearn perhaps as a as an entrepreneur themselves they will do it themselves or um they want to also be like you na nag, nag maging social media manager and earn also six digits a month and perhaps also be able to quit their job um how can they learn from you um, yeah, I'm. I will be sharing my sales page link, so I have mm-hmm. there all the information about my course if they want to avail my course. But I also have a um a uh free Facebook group where mm-hmm. they could also join there. I'm I I also hosting some live uh live webinars there, free webinars, mm-hmm. but not really weekly, just. Mm-hmm. Um, because I still I still have a lot of things in my plate, but hopefully soon I will yeah, have yeah. it weekly. But yeah, I could uh yeah. I... Ah, me inano ko na pinomet ko sa uh Thank I did you. it na for you, Hara. <laughs> Kaya busy busy ako wala ka salita ka. <laughs> so I um the link to Hara's um course is in the so in the comment section. So if you if you check it out, if you would want to learn social media and at the same or at this or and or at the same time also uh, be a social media manager and earn also uh, online, you no, know, aside from your day job, then Hara is uh, is have or has a course for you. That's the elite and nga ba yun? social elite media success. Academy. Elite Media, oh nga no, nakalimutan ko yun sa intro, sorry, Tara. Elite <laughs> Media Success Academy, right? EMSA. So this is the first time that you that you have launched this one, but you already have clients before, right, Tara? So mm-hmm. since first time mo mag-launch, this is your um, pinaka-discounted na price, tama? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I suggest that those who are really interested to grab this opportunity na mura pa siya, guys. For sure, alam ko by 2021, this would not be at this price anymore. Especially Hara is 
really slaying <laughs> her way to to this course. So mm -hmm. please do grab that opportunity to check the um, the link. Would there be a deadline bus enrollment here? Um, I'm planning to have a deadline of enrollment. I think uh, this November. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Just to, bye. Yeah, just to complete the first batch. <laughs> oh, para matutukan mo din sila ano. So, yes. paano ba yung course mo? Would that be a uh, self-paced ba yung course or meron kang mga live sessions with them? So, yun, um, it's really a complete, like all of the, uh, the the things that needed by a social media manager, I put it there. I, mm -hmm. I first trialed and error that course and uh, it has like a pre-recorded videos already, all the skills, the the uh the things that they need to know about social media and also the how how could they find clients as well and how to manage their clients and i also have like a coaching group calls to cater all their uh q a's because i think most of the the course lacks um support for uh for a coaching call so that's mm -hmm. why i insert it it uh, I put there like a four for one hour coaching calls, group okay. coaching calls for them. Okay. And then all the tools that they need, that templates, I put it all there. Wow. So, <laughs> parang all in one lang. You don't have to, you know, um, figure it yourself, guys, on how you could start your social media journey as an entrepreneur and also as a social media manager. So, it's nice, Hara, know that you would also have that uh, group coaching calls so you could really check on your check on your students mm -hmm. and I'm so excited for you with that one so ngayon that um you're already your own boss how was it how is it different like when you compared it to working with a nine-to-five job how did your life change Charot, parang miss universe <laughs> <laughs> parang miss universe question it's, it's, really, universe. it's really a big difference because I completely I I work in a cor corporate style for consistent 10 years i don't have any uh any rest uh rest any rest. <laughs> yes i it, it continues i i work continuously and uh before i have a boss i have i i i learn from my boss i i ask for their approval for their decisions mm -hmm. what what to do next but currently i'm I'm the boss now, so boss. I need to to decide uh, what what will be good for my business. Like mm -hmm. in the corporate job, we have a different department, like the HR, the the accounting. <laughs> Being the boss, right you're, you're, you're all, all around, all around. So it's like you're the HR, you're the accountant, you're the one who market your business. So it's it's kind of difficult at the very beginning, but I'm I'm happy because mm -hmm. um, having a business, kasi it it will it will make you have a time freedom and uh, uh, financial freedom, and that's really good. Like you could decide if you want to take some rest. Like I don't mm -hmm. want to market my my business, and I would stay for this kind of income. I can stay for this kind of. Um, of this kind of working time of what mm -hmm. I I want, so it's mm -hmm. like you you can manage your your time, can manage your finances. Like mm -hmm. if you really want to aim um a higher than um higher than uh, for example, you want to aim two hundred thousand per month, you can do it. So you mm -hmm. just need to work more and have more time in in managing your business. So. You have really you 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 somewhat do everything. However, kapag nag scale ka na and you know how to do the system for your business, it would eventually be lighter, right? Yeah. And then ang 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 maganda kasi is you have a total control on when you want to work, you no, know, who you want to work with. Yes, diba? <laughs> Kasi you are the boss, so you, you get to you get to you get to choose on who who's the clients that you get to work with, especially the. As, a, as an entrepreneur, we also have to protect our mental health, right? It's, that's that's right. very important. Okay? It's not about mm -hmm. all about the money, right, in the first place. Mm -hmm. So there are other things that we have considered. So maybe uh, 
I'm not sure if there are questions to those who are still watching. Maybe if you have questions, we can we can answer. Just let us know. Um, now, uh, maybe Hara, as just a, ano na lang, what can you advise to the aspiring entrepreneurs, to those who want to go into business and own their time, but they still have a current job right now? Uh, what could you advise to them? Like, um, how can they start and take that first step? First is just start. <laughs> so, I think yun just yung, start. Oh, yun yung uh, parang pinaka uh, main pag nagde-decide if they really want to pursue business is they are afraid to start. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they have this 9 to 5 job. But uh, in my case, I did it. So I think a lot of them can also do it. Uh, you, they, they need to uh, manage their time really well. Like uh, think of what you're doing. What what are the, the things that you're doing? Like for example, you're just scrolling feeds in Facebook or you're just uh, watching Netflix. Think of what would be uh, most benefit if you want to pursue like a business. If you really want to pursue it, then you need to stop doing those kind of things. Like it's okay naman to take some rest paminsan minsan, but think of it like after work you're always watching uh netflix netflix or korean novella why not spend like for example one to two hours learning some new things or exploring uh exploring some business or trying to learn and to uh, to educate be educated with the business that you really want because it it depends you may want to like create a uh, online shop or yeah. have your own um, shop or food business so it really depends Correct. so try to to uh, dream not only just dream but to start doing it mm -hmm. and what I can advise is when you do like time management think of the things that um, you can do without it or you can you can think of like I was you will start to uh you will start your business and then spend some time learning it so mm -hmm. that's an exchange of doing that and you could also um explore like uh whenever you have like a, a nine to five job like for example for me for my case I usually wake up very early for my for my social media clients and sometimes I work also at 8 to 8 to 9 p.m. for example so it's it's also taking some risk of your time and your effort but if you don't start it will not really happen it will just be a written goals yeah so, yeah that's oh. that's my biggest advice to aspiring uh, entrepreneurs out there so parang just take the first step and then if 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 they think that they don't have time yun, yun yung mga usual na Sinasabi, di ba, ng mga tao, ay, busy ako, wala akong oras yes. dyan, maging ano. Hanggang sa, wala na talaga, naging, hindi ano, na. Na, hindi na talaga mas nasa-start yung, yung business. And then you mentioned that maybe you could do a um, time management and perhaps do an audit, no, sa oras mo kung saan mo siya sinispend if if that would be on, instead na siguro na mag-scroll-scroll scroll ka sa Facebook, why not uh, do a social media management, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kung mahilig ka talaga dun sa Facebook and Instagram, then pwede mo po siyang pagka, pagkakitaan, uh -huh. right? So, yeah. th those are um, um, few things that you could do, guys, if you really want to start. Now, just take the first step. And if you think that the first step is too big, break it down, just like what Hara did. Break it down into little steps pa. Para mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't be that overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. I, I think wala namang mga tanong ang mga people. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, again, guys, um, I have uh, posted sa comment section a, a link to Hara's sales page on the um, on her course about social media management. You could, pwede siya, Hara, no? For entrepreneurs na um, for their uh, business itself, then pwede din sa mga aspiring social media managers mm -mm. Mm -mm. and yeah. then you can invite them what's the name of your um facebook facebook group 
Uh, my the name of my Facebook group is Earn Consistent Income by being a social media freelancer. Siguro, siguro later after ng call natin. Oh, pala. I, 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 I forgot the link of that. Oo, oh, oh, i-comment mo na lang sa comment section and uh-uh. and we will uh so that's so that they could also um join join that Facebook group. Okay, sige. Thank you so much everybody for watching tonight. Thank you so much Hara for saying yes. I'm sorry. May, I I just saw one question. Ay, my question? My question ba? Sige. Ayun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, si Aiden. Thank you na pa lang question. Sige. Hi Miss Hara, what is your motivation to start the freelancing business and how you surpass the frustrating moment of your business? Because we know the first step is the hardest way. Wow. Parang mga Miss Universe. Sige. <laughs> Kaya mo yan, Hara? <laughs> Oo, tama. Um, pag nag-start talaga, yun talaga yung pinaka-list. Like for me, uh, um, I really like, I really ha- lack, I have a lot of uh, sleepless nights sometimes if I really want to learn uh, new new things about social media. Because for me, I it's, really my passion i really love social media like i have all the different platform accounts i have tiktok as well i am also in twitter in pinterest and uh i was really hooked with that and what i can advise is that for you to be able to um to be inspired or motivated to start your freelancing business is that uh as I mentioned, write down your goals. And then, um, after writing your goals, um, like, put a uh, an explanation on how can you achieve it. Like, for example, for my case, I want to, at the, uh, nung nag-start ako, like, I really want to have a one or two clients before. So, what I did is, I stopped watching Korean novellas. <laughs> And for me to be able to achieve it, so I, I need to, to do client hunting and learn a lot of things. So mm-hmm. I eliminate those um, those things that I think um, mga hindrances to my goals. So that's the first thing, remove it. And then set a time. Like I do time blocking. Uh, like I have like, because I have my uh, eight to five job. So I need to, I need to put like for example at these only times like for example uh, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. is my working for freelancing and at the evening I have like uh, 7 to 9 p.m. so you can do time blocking and uh, I was also motivated by other freelancer before like the life of other freelancers like I, I also wanted to achieve their goals like uh you can search for any inspiration. Yeah, correct. So yeah. <laughs> diba? Kasi if 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 you uh, surround yourself with like-minded individuals, basically um don't for frustrate ka and then you tend to share that to people and then they also have the same thoughts and perhaps um that that well, there's one person na napagdaana na yung pinagdadaanan mo, then he or she has something. Um, good to say about it para gumaan din naman yung feeling mo then then that could help right yeah. so having that community to 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 support diba kasi we cannot really be successful alone yeah. right charot para talaga yung miss universe yeah <laughs> pinawisan ako actually <laughs> pinawisan ka sige aha uh-huh. okay right so i think wala na anything you want to say Hara or um so far wala naman. <laughs> oh, wala na. Sige, yun lang i, i- Ayun, Thank comment. you. Thank you sa list sa lahat ng nanood. Yes. <laughs> and thanks Faye, for having me here. Yeah, more thanks to you Hara for saying yes. I know you're so busy and it's it's, <laughs> it's Sunday, it's family time. Thank you for saying yes. And then Hara will 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 post later a a link in the comment section to the Facebook group also mm-hmm. so you could join that one so i'll be ending the live hara wag mo na i-, i drop yung call i'll just end the live thank you everybody for watching bye bye thank you bye